Hello there, Jose Rodriguez. This will be the last installment of the How to Revive a Neglected Printer. I'm going to go ahead and just go over some of the internal cleaning that we need to do. This will involve the left side and the most important side, which is the one where the purge pad is located. Now, I want you to take a quick look here. As you see along the bottom of the printer you see what is known as the platen sponge and you can see some areas that have a darker coloration than for example this area is right here this area is right here are pretty well dry and this is a little bit wetter you can just see it and I can feel it so basically these areas had been you know soaked with some ink and that can come from doing just repeated over and over borderless type prints and so on the overspray has to go somewhere it will land on these sponges and you need to really take care of that that can lead to stains on your prints it can lead to smudges in the back of your paper as it passes over this area here it can lead to all kinds of ink blobs and smudges on your prints. Now, the way to handle this, the easiest way, and it can get messy, I'm not gonna wear gloves, but you should, you should, is to go ahead and you would squirt some Windex on the areas that mostly require it, and then blot. And you can see that I am picking up ink. And continue doing this. The more you do it, the clearer the sponges will become. You can see, this is not too bad. This is actually as a result of those soaks that I was doing to clear the head of some of those stubborn clogs that I had earlier. So you would dab the complete plate and sponge. You will treat it with Windex, pretty much sort of soak it a little bit and then dab it off with clean paper towels. This you would repeat over and over until it's fairly clean. In other words, you're just getting Windex back, that color. Any other color, that's, that means there's still ink in those sponges. Another area you wanna keep clean are the the little rollers these rollers right here you want to clean those as well now a very important area and one that a lot of people tend to neglect somewhat until it's too late and the result of neglecting that section here I'm gonna point at it with my needle right here you neglect that and it it will transfer ink onto the bottom of the head which will result on smudges as the head travels across the paper this is an area where the head will sort of wipe itself a little bit before it returns some printers uh, don't seem to have a very efficient wiper blade on them so they rely on this part of the sponge here as an area to uh, remove or soak off ex excess ink now you would simply soak it pretty well with Windex. It will sink into the waste pads. It goes directly into the waste pads. But you wanna keep that area fairly clean. You can see how dirty it is. Now you would continue to do this just over and over until you're getting a pretty clean or fairly clean paper towel you're not going to get it completely clean it's just sort of impossible to do so just you know apply cleaning fluid you can use real cleaning fluid that you can purchase it's rather expensive or you can just use Windex it works just as well and you're just going to gently dab it and as you can see I'm getting less and less of that black gunky ink meaning that I am actually cleaning the area pretty well.
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start up the printer, move the head over to the far left so that I can get over to the very important area of the perch pads. Okay, we're going to power on. And as soon as the head moves, I'm going to unplug the power cord. Like so. Now we're going to move the head out of the way. Okay, hopefully you should be able to see the perch pad. It's located right here. This rectangular little frame. This is a sponge. The sponge is not really a sponge. It's actually um, made out of a ceramic porous material. Here is the wiper blade. Now we're going to go ahead and fold some paper towel pieces together. We're going to make a bunch of little rectangles, little pads that we're going to use during our process. So I'm not going to do it over and over and over until it's clean. I'm just going to do it a couple of times to give you an idea how you would go about doing this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, flood that gently. Do not, do not overflow it. And now I'm going to come from this side so you get a good view. And I'm going to blot carefully. Now you could detach that perch unit quite easily. It just simply floats. You can see the results. Here we go. There you go. And we'll continue to do that. I'll go ahead and fold this again. And you can see as I drop some Windex in there how it immediately dissolves the, all that gunky ink that's on the surface of that of that ceramic sponge or that ceramic surface. And you should be able to see pretty soon here that it's cleaning up quite nicely. Now this is a dirty area of the printer. You're never going to keep it from getting dirty. It's, a, it's just a, this is where the you know waste ink gets absorbed during ink purges and cleaning cycles that are quite often necessary during the use of your printer. You can use whatever kind of material you want to use to absorb that excess Windex off of those perch pads. You can see that it's getting lighter and lighter. Now there's one trick that you can do especially if you have installed an external ink bottle for catching your waste ink. You can actually detach that hose and attach a needle to the hose and you can back flush it with Windex and then back and forth pull ink right out of the uh, or pull dirty gunky ink right out of the whole purge unit and sponge. You will end up with a perfectly clean sponge. Now that will not last very long because the minute you be, you know begin to use your printer it's just going to get dirty again. Like I said this is not something that's going to remain perfectly clean. You just have to clean clean it in this manner every so often and I don't mean like every week either like every several months you can run this type of procedure and this will clear up a lot of problems here we go this is very good now it's looking good I'm gonna just go ahead with the same paper wipe I'm gonna clean that wiper blade alright and that's about it for that so let's go ahead and move the head back over I'm going to plug it in, start her back up. I have the exposure adjusted so you can see the internal portions of the printer. We'll go back to a normal setting in a second. I'm going to go ahead and do the roller cleaning trick with a piece of paper. Okay, I thought I was going to be able to show you the paper with alcohol trick, but unfortunately this printer model does not have a button for automatically feeding a sheet of paper through the system. Other printers do, more advanced printers do, a lot of them that have that, you can use that trick, basically you would wet the bottom half, insert it into the feeder, press the feed button, and that will send the piece of paper, half the bottom half which is wet with alcohol first, that would remove gunk and dust and other pollutants from your rollers or your feed rollers and then the trailing edge which is dry would go ahead and dry it 
and you would perform that once or twice. And that's really all you need to do quite often to restore the ability of your feed rollers to actually effectively grab the paper. Often what happens is because they're so gunky and so dirty, they're slippery, they do not properly grab the paper. The moment the sensor detects that the paper has not been positioned properly, it just shoots it right out. And that's often what will happen with these printers. The paper just keeps shooting out and you cannot actually, you know, properly feed paper. All right. Well, too bad for us. I will probably demonstrate this with a printer that does have that functionality a little later as a separate video. So I guess for now we are done with this printer. She is working just fine. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you enjoy this type of content, please follow me. I am now on Google Plus, also on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Please ask any questions you may want down in the comment section. And if you feel it in you, go ahead and subscribe and please share. So until the next time, happy printing and bye-bye.